Hello all. Figured it was about time to make an updated uh, video for my bike, both as a review of the conversion kit and as a demonstration of all the stuff that I've got attached to it, like the lighting system and other various things. I wanted to do the updated review since uh, I am entering the third year of use for uh, this thing. So I just wanted to bring everybody up to speed on how the bike is holding up as far as the conversion kit is concerned. It's uh, been doing extremely well. Like I have had uh, zero problems with this thing. So it's uh, still uh, going strong. The battery is going strong. Everything is going strong. Here uh, you can see the hub motor. Uh, this brake and the torque arm still holding strong. Uh, on the other side you can see uh, the wiring that goes to the hub motor and everything else is uh, all the wiring in fact is still really good like uh, all the connections are pretty much weatherproof so uh, never had any problem there with uh, any other wiring. Uh, the control box for the system is still pretty good. The uh, charging port for the battery is uh, still uh, perfect. Uh, over here we've got uh, the uh, lock cylinder that turns everything on and off. Uh, no problems there. A lot more wiring here. Like I said, all the wiring from the conversion kit is basically weatherproof. Uh, my own wiring, uh, probably not so much, but it still works. Uh, the cycle analyst up here that displays all the info. Uh, there's a lot of info that you can cycle through, but uh, a lot of it I don't really concern myself with. You know, a lot of different parameters there, but the main ones that I go after would be the different cycles, total amp hours, and the uh, odometer. So since I installed this kit, like over 3,000 kilometers on the bike, so that's pretty good. But uh, overall, like I'm still very happy with the kit. And uh, here uh, we'll go for the demo of all of my other stuff. Uh, this is a voltmeter slash thermometer. I just installed that, basically just to let me know what the temperature is outside while riding, especially at night, so I know how to prepare myself. Back here we've got the tail light. And uh, so that covers the top switches. The bottom switches do the turn signals for uh, left and right. And the way I have it wired up, it does allow me to have hazards if the need ever arises for whatever reason. But yeah, really visible during the day and bright as hell at night for extra visibility. So nobody can complain that they don't know where I'm going. And, uh, let's see what's next. Um, I ended up buying an actual proper headlight from uh, ebikes.ca. They call this thing the Cycle Illuminator. This thing uses four LEDs that are bright as hell, literally. At night, like, it lights up the road like uh, I was driving a car. Like, it's really bright. This thing pumps out 1,000 lumens of brightness. So it's really good compared to the flashlights that I used to use. It has a push button on off switch. If you push it really hard, it turns it on and off. Uh, if you press it lightly, it cycles through the different brightnesses. So one push, it'll turn it on and then it'll be on the brightness, uh, brightest setting. And then it cycles through. Here I decided to do a quick show at night to show how everything lights up. My camera doesn't pick up too much in the dark, but that shows you how bright this light actually is. Then a quick press, and that's the medium brightness setting, and the lowest brightness setting goes pretty much pitch black, but you get the point. <laughs> then I go back to the brightest setting. Like, like I said, it's really bright. And uh, Back here, I'll uh, 
show you how I have uh, the tail light wired up so that I have an actual brake light as well. This gets a bit screwy since I'm holding the phone with one hand and operating the front with the other. So there you can see the brake light on and off, the uh, right signal just for fun. And I turn the uh, tail light on here, brake light on and off, just to show the difference in the brightness. Pretty pleased with the way that this system works, so there's one thing that I built that actually does work properly. And uh, here we have the horn. Now, uh, I took this out of a car from the junkyard and wired it up to a 12-volt uh, drill battery that I have uh, stuffed inside the little pouch on the back of my bag here. There, you can see the battery right there. So, the battery is only there to power the horn, so it's a dedicated power source and uh, I'll give you a quick demo of the sound right now. So that's pretty much everything that I've done to the bike. Uh, thanks for watching and if you have any comments or questions please post below and see you later.